Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. Here we are. Here we are. Okay. Very cool subject today. Guess what? Birthmarks. <laughs> <laughs> and another viewer's question, which isn't birthmarks, and I'm going to dive on yeah. in and just read her question or okay. his question. I believe it's a female. It feels like a female, doesn't it? Yeah, Kenya. Kenya Sims is saying about the Kobe and Gianna Bryant past life mm -hmm. uh, subject. Because they were looking right. it up, doing a little bit of research. Mm -hmm. And here's what Kenya is saying. Okay. I looked up the catchers and coaches during the time frame in the Negro Leagues. There were seven or eight leagues. I'm going with eight. I looked at the year of birth, also year when deceased. <clears throat> I came up with Miguel Gonzalez, birth, September 24th, 1890, deceased February 19th, 1977. And Nick O'Neill, birth, November 13th, 1911, and deceased October 6th, 2006, that work. which it couldn't be Kobe. Because um, he was born in 78. Because, yeah, he was born oh, she in... she says right Yeah, there. she's saying in 1978. So it could not be Buck O'Neill, yet I see Miguel Gonzalez was deceased before Kobe was born. Very interesting. Now, I'm not saying it is so. Still, the tiny matches up. Is there anyone I overlooked in the Negro Leagues that was a catcher, also a coach, deceased before Kobe was born? My fault. <laughs> no. But it's not your not fault. Not your fault. How can you know... <clears throat> Yeah, Everyone. Exactly. So I was trying to research. I kudos to you guys that do the research because it's like <laughs> needle it's, in a haystack. Yeah, kind of it's, thing. yeah. Where do you st I was looking all morning. But anyway, what I picked up was I said Kobe was a coach, was a catcher first, but then he went into a different position. So that's where there's, I think there's that confusion. Because, but I didn't say it. I just said he, was, he started, but he started as a catcher. Right. But eventually, so what Chrissy and I found was a gentleman by the name of Jim Can yeah. Candy. Yeah, Candy Jim, I think Candy his name. Jim Taylor, they called him Candy Jim. Candy Jim. And this, I believe, fits a lot better. Um, he was, oh, I don't know when he was born, I didn't look, I forgot. But I know he died before Kobe was born. If you want to look oh, him definitely. up, Candy Jim okay, now, Taylor. Now I want to go look him up. Now there's a picture of him like when it, he first started. And oh my gosh, the shape of the face. You guys, seriously. Like, but when he got older, it didn't. No, yeah. but that one picture, picture did look like. Yeah. It looked like you could almost see the resemblance yeah. of Kobe. And this guy actually uh, had a championship team. And he was the captain of the t his team whenever wow. he was a player, not See? a coach. Look at the similarities. Yeah. It's amazing. And, yeah. Okay. And Gianna was in one of his... Uh... He died in oh, 19... Oh, she died was in 19... the pitcher. That's where I got confused. Oh, so, but I believe Candy sense. Jim became a third baseman. Uh -huh. Oh, third baseman, right there. He, was, he died yeah. in 1948. Yeah. So that's like, what, 30 years yeah. before he... I know if people were saying it can't be, but come oh, on. Oh, yeah, 30 we years. We just come in a lot sooner than we did before. Well, the picture on the Wikipedia of him is the one that I feel kind of looks oh like his face, gosh. don't you? Yeah. You guys will see it if you look at yeah. that. Yeah, Wikipedia. just the shape. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, not the nose or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, it's not that great of a picture. Yeah, so see. thank you for researching. <laughs> yeah, I love you're it. awesome, Kenya. And it's not your fault. It was my fault because he started as a catcher, as I said, and he became another. They Well, he did whatever position um, coaches wanted him. Yeah, but so. see, that's talent right there, yeah. huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Fear. Yeah. Which birthmark do you want to start off okay. with? Today, we have two. <clears throat> well, we're going to start with Brittany G Garcia. Okay, you want me to read it? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. All right, I have a question on my birthmark, which is a heart-shaped birthmark on my left armpit. Okay, and what I picked up for you, Brittany, is you were in Atlantis, and she worked in an area that was for healthcare, because there was different, you know, because it was like, yeah, they would just go, and if anyone was feeling ill or whatever, they would go to your section, and you guys would heal them wow. with crystals or whatever. Wow. You know, whatever it is, that technology at that time. But your specialty, what you really loved, was working with babies. 
Oh, yeah, really? yeah. So that's why she has the oh, heart that's so under her cute. Pit, the babies, you would hold the babies. Oh, that okay. I'm yeah. sorry, but that's <clears throat> really cute. <laughs> yeah. So you oh. found also that by showing, and not just the babies, but everybody that was there for something that was alien them, if you showed them compassion and love, they healed quicker. Isn't that yeah. the truth? So that's also a reminder of your compassion and the way that you help people. You guys, it's so true. Mm -hmm. Being being presenting the positive right. and being the positive is it just helps a person flourish. I know that's happened to me in my life. It helps a person to flourish so much more than using negativity. Yeah. In any ways, in any different fashion, but especially in healing. Yeah. I mean, I told you guys before, I believe I've, I've done it. Learning, everything. Yeah. Right. But where my son, he had a, a horrific burn. Oh, yeah. On his arm. And we, you know, took him to emergency and all that. And he was, when they, he had third degree burns. That's how bad it was. And whenever he was in the hospital, we stayed with him. 24 7 there was either me there or my mom there was because I would go home and take a shower and then go right back and then she would do the same thing kind of thing but he was around somebody that loved him oh, yeah. the whole time mm -hmm. so the doctor there happened to be uh, he floated around but he was a expert in his specialty was burns can you and believe it just the, happened to be there yeah that day yeah so he, well, it wasn't just the day. It was like he a week did a section of time with everybody or whatever. But he was telling us that it was, you know, it was going to take time. But he would probably be in the um, hospital for a month or more. Wow. Because his arm was, trying, was starting to fuse because where that's where the burn was. So they had to keep, you know how they have to keep scraping it? So, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh. But... He oh. was out of the hospital in seven days. Seven. And actually, this doctor said that he was he was doing a report on it. He wow. put it like in the, I don't know, what the journals or whatever they call it. Isn't so that, that shows amazing. you the love. And then that's where he was saying he had another baby wow. in another area. And nobody was ever there for him. Oh. I know. So... You know, he said that's, he just told us, he goes, he was like excited. He was going, this is oh, the difference. See, yeah. it's so important because I was just thinking about the study you showed yeah. me of a um, orphanage oh, in Russia yeah. and these babies weren't allowed to be, they weren't held by anyone and they just have severe, severe issues. Um, and it's like, what a testimony to Feeling loved, yeah. so that is an amazing healing, yeah. uh, just good place for good thing for us to have if we're healing our other ways. But so no wonder the heart shape yeah. for her. Yeah, and then where she put it to, re, you know, to remember that it's how she cradled those babies. And what's interesting is that <clears throat> Atlantis is not was not a primitive culture. Oh, no. it was a very, it was very advanced. advanced, exactly. So. Even too advanced, then, though. Yeah. Before they <laughs> Thus, blew each other the up. explosion yeah. that sunk. But, um, but yeah, even back then, and it's still known to this day that studies are showing how yeah. much love matters. Exactly. That's awesome. All right, the next one is Croc. <laughs> okay. Croc-Z. Croc -Z. Croc -Z says... <laughs> I, can't, I still laugh when I see that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> me too. I have a full, glowing, heart-shaped birthmark on my, I think it's thigh. I think it's thigh, but it looks like thing. <laughs> but I believe Let's it's thigh. Let's go with thigh, thigh, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Heart, what's a full glowing heart I don't know shape? what that glowing means, but. That's interesting. It's Maybe it's kind of like blurred, like it's almost like glowing. Uh -huh. I don't know. Okay. So let's see what you have yeah, to Yeah, well, what pick I picked up, up for Croc was that you were a triplet in a past life in Ireland. And all of you triplets had a heart-shaped birthmark on your knee. But when you would put the knees together, because one was on the right knee, one was on the left knee, and the other one had one on the right knee. Or something. It, was, it was something, a different area, a little, but it was more like a, it turned into a shamrock. 
kind of thing. <laughs> Are you kidding me? So it's just me? a reminder that of the love that you have with your, the kinship that you have with these two other people. Because you tend to be around the... You guys are in lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. So, yeah. Croc Z, it's going to be interesting for you to reflect on if there are two people in your life mm -hmm. that you feel so connected to that it, it sounds like they're in life with you, who that might be that you've shared so many lifetimes with. Yeah. That's cool. But this lifetime, he's by himself. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? But it wasn't, it's because they wanted to, he wanted to see what it would feel like. Right. To, and yeah. like we're always talking about, mm -hmm. we're never really alone. No. So, you know, they're always helping you from the other side. You guys, you, the three of you just hang out on the other side. You're, you go into past lives together. I mean, it was, you, I could say almost every one of them. Almost. But yeah, you're together. You're just BFFs and you're not soulmates. It's just you guys click. You're like... You were made on the same branch, as they yeah, say. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. So it's just a reminder that, like Chrissy said, you always have protection. You always have people with you. And he wanted to, you. or he or she, they wanted to come into this right. life to see what it felt like without them mm -hmm. here, you were saying. Mm -hmm. But still has a connection with them, especially in dream time. That's so, cool. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to mm -hmm. see if you start remembering dreams yeah. or... We can have soul visits and dreams. Yeah. Like, I was just saying. So, yeah. so that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank, thank you for everybody. joining us today. And stay enlightened.